After spending a lot of money on designer items over the last 10 years, everything from bags, of course, to designer accessories and clothing, these are the seven items that I've decided I am never going to skimp out on again, and this is why. The first item that I'm not going to skimp on again actually took me I would say a good few years to come round to actually investing in this quite expensive designer item. And it is, of course, a bottle of fantastic fragrance. Now, I really love this quote from Helen Keller, and that is that smell is a potent wizard that transports you across thousands of miles and all the years you have ever lived. Now, I've never been one of these people that are super into fragrance. I know that there are quite a few people out there that love a good smell, and I definitely do, but I was very happy with, you know, the higher end high street perfumes, even some high street perfumes. Zara, I found a few that I really like there, but it wasn't until I smelt some of the Louis Vuitton perfumes that I fell in love. And there was a particular fragrance from Louis Vuitton that ended up converting me. This is the Atrep Revs fragrance. If you haven't smelt it, I highly recommend. It is just so beautiful and I couldn't find anything that was similar to it, anything that was as strong or as beautiful. And top tip, if you do get a fragrance from Louis Vuitton, you can actually, as long as you keep your bottle, take it back when it's empty and they will refill it for you. This does mean a small saving on the price. And honestly, I've never had so many compliments on my perfume. I recently also bought a bottle of the Ombre Nomad from Louis Vuitton, which is one of the highest rated perfumes, I believe, of all time. It has like a beautiful oody smell to it. Next, targeting Symphony from Louis Vuitton, but let me know in the comments, what is your favorite fragrance? This is something that I'm not going to scrimp on again because I find the fragrances are more unique, definitely more complimented, and I don't need to use as much because they're often stronger in nature in the first place. Hey, if you are new here, my name is Steph. Now, the second item that I would not skimp on again is a piece that I've known for a long time because I did fashion design at college. I made my own collection that a lot of work and tailoring go into this piece and it's not very easily replicated on the high street. So which item is this? This is of course a beautiful designer or tailored to you blazer. So of course I do have high street blazers. If I'm going for an oversized blazer I find high street can very much tick that box. However if you are looking for something that is more tailored to you that has a more silhouette and that is obviously a higher quality in terms of the material I definitely think investing in a really great blazer is just an absolute classic. It's one of those items that over many many years it's always been in fashion in kind of some way shape or form and I recently invested into Saint Laurent blazers. One of them is actually very, very similar to a high street blazer that I got from River Island. And you'll be able to see, I can tell you just from feeling this, the fabrics are worlds apart from one another. The Saint Laurent feels much, much higher quality. Obviously it was a lot more expensive, but also the silhouette that it gives, like Saint Laurent are quite well known in some of their blazers for the higher shoulders. And I think they are one of the only brands that I like that do the higher shoulders like this. And it just creates the most beautiful silhouette which generally a high street blazer will really struggle to replicate. And I know that I have no regrets over these slightly more expensive investments in my wardrobe. Luxury item number three that I'm not skimping on again is a beautiful coat. So this follows on nicely from a blazer, but I feel like a blazer is definitely more of a dressed up piece. And depending on where you live and the climate where you live, here in the UK, we often have a lot of cold weather, a lot of rain and a really great coat I think can just absolutely transform an outfit. For me personally, I think an investment in a really nice long line coat in a neutral such as a black, a white but or a cream but sometimes they can be harder to keep clean obviously but a camel so I'd probably go black or camel if I was only picking one and just a beautiful designer long line coat and the reason I say designer versus high street is I have seen a lot of high street brands try and do the long line coat and they cannot unfortunately get the fabrics that really give the kind of weight to the coat that just make it look really beautiful they just sometimes crease quite a lot and they just don't give off the same effect and you can really tell when you've got the piece on your body so one really great coat depending on the climate and your style it might be you prefer a jacket style but me I just love a long line because I can wear them quite easily with trainers or boots when the weather's not so nice another popular brand when it comes to coats in the designer world is obviously Max Mara you can find so many incredible pieces from this brand again they have a store at Vista Village if you're in the UK if you want to save maybe a few hundred pounds on a piece definitely check the Vista Village store out but Max Mara I don't think you 
you can go too wrong. If you didn't want something that's going to cost into the thousands, you might also want to look at a brand such as the Frankie Shop. I have the Nicola coat in grey. I will say this is very dramatic. I find Frankie Shop stuff is more dramatic with the shoulders and the length, but my gosh, are they beautiful. The fabric is really nice, and I find that the Nicola coat in general hangs really nicely on the body. You can just tell it's really beautiful quality. Luxury item number four that you shouldn't scrimp on. And of course, I was at some point going to say some kind of bag, but very specifically a certain type of bag is the bag that I wouldn't skimp on. So which bag is it? It is, of course, an evening bag. Did you guess that? In terms of a day bag, if you're looking for something for work, for example, I do think you can invest in some really beautiful pieces. However, I think there are some affordable luxury brands. I'm thinking of Demelia, Lalagi Beaumont, Pelen, where you can buy pieces for a lot less than your you know, super high-end designer. And I think the quality of them is really, really nice. So for me, if I was buying an everyday or a work bag, I would look more to the affordable luxury brands. I've done many videos on this, some brands if you are interested in finding out a little bit more. But when it comes to an evening bag, I think investing in something that is truly beautiful, that is going to be the cherry on top, the pierre de resistance of your outfit, even though it might not get as much use as an everyday bag, for example, I do think because they are so special and for special occasions, it might be worth making more of an investment here. And just to show you, you don't need to spend an absolute fortune. This is my Stella McCartney Falabella bag. And I recently went to a gala in London. I saw a lot of people with this bag. These retail about six to 700 pounds in the UK. I'd say around a thousand dollars in the US. And another one that I love in my collection that I have no regrets of investing in, even though I don't wear it all the time. This is my Chanel Pearl Boy bag. Now this is quite a bulky looking bag. So I generally wear this if I'm going out somewhere nice to eat in the evening. You know, I'm not going to a gala or anything like that because this probably doesn't suit. I just absolutely love and it just feels really special compared to a lot of my other bags. Luxury item number five. Now these aren't specific items. I feel like I've covered a lot of those. A great coat, a great blazer, some great fragrance. You can't go wrong with those things. However, these are things that I have just kind of learned over the last few years that I thought I'd share with you. So the, the fifth thing that I wouldn't skimp on in terms of investing in is celebration or milestone purchases. Now, I know there are many reasons as to why anyone might buy a luxury purchase, but one of the main reasons for me is because of an achievement or a milestone, something that I felt like maybe I couldn't do or felt like it was a real challenge, and then buying that item as almost like a trophy. Now, if you are a subscriber and you've been following me here on this channel, I recently just hit 100,000 subscribers here on YouTube. YouTube. This is my play button that I got sent and honestly I never thought I would have one of these. This blows my mind and along with this huge milestone for me in terms of my career I did invest in a very special bag who has kindly been sat here very quietly in the background. I say quietly probably not that quietly because I decided to go for the Hermes Kelly. This is my dream bag, 28 in the color Lime. Just what a pop of color. The stars aligned and I was able to get my hands on this piece. It was my biggest investment in my bag collection to date. And I decided because it was around the time I hit 100,000 subscribers that this would become a milestone bag for me. The sixth luxury item I'm not skimping on again. And this one is a revelation to me. I am very much an online shopper. I like to be able to browse, weigh up things and not have the pressure of people around me like sales associates so that I can just make my mind up in my own time and do the research that I want to. However, I will say the thing that I'm not going to skimp on again is actually making the effort to go into stores, especially when I am making a designer purchase. I have had some of my best experiences in a long time when it comes to buying any items, thanks to the fact I have made the effort to go into store to buy something. The highlight for me for sure 
was buying my Louis Vuitton Go One Fall. I was taken upstairs in the Bond Street store in London. I had champagne, they were bringing out cookies and just little things to nibble on. And it was just the most wonderful experience. Also recently I met up with Deb from Wild Unfiltered. We went to Fendi and we had some beautiful strawberries and they gave us champagne. So I know going forward, if I ever do make a designer purchase, I for sure am not going to miss out on that experience of going in and enjoying myself, spending some time with a sales associate, trying on what I'd like to, making sure I've got the right item. And top tip, I would also say take a family member or a friend along with you to enjoy the experience. And it just makes for such a really great fun time out. And finally, the seventh luxury item I would never skimp on again is I don't know if this one's quite an obvious one. We've gone quite far away now from items, but it's my health. And specifically, an area that I'm researching a lot at the minute is brain health. So we talk a lot about mental health, but I'm quite interested in brain health, how the brain operates and how to keep it as healthy as possible. Because if we don't have our health and specifically our brain health, we don't really have much else. And for me personally, this means filling up my cup with a spa day if I feel like I'd need a bit of time out and just a change of scene. It also means that I have a gym membership that I really love the yoga classes for and they specifically have a swimming pool, sauna and steam room because those are just my happy places. I can just kind of close the door on my day at work and then go and enjoy myself at the gym. What luxury items are you never going to skimp on again? Let me know in the comments down below. But make sure you don't go anywhere because coming up next, the seven best affordable designer bags for beginners. Enjoy.